Across Florida, a lot of new laws are now in effect that impact schools and teachers, and figuring out what is and isn't allowed in the classroom has been difficult for some educators. WPTV's Joe Lopez reports on how the owner of a local bookstore is helping bring some clarity. Rohi's Readery here in the square held what's called Teaching for Joy and Justice. It's a workshop to ensure that community members understand all the new legislation in schools. So we're going to get started. Surrounded by books of inclusion and diversity. Everyone feels safe here and everyone learns here and everyone is welcome. A little bookstore is trying to make a big difference. There's a lot of gray areas and things aren't being explained well, so I feel like I'm here tonight to just hopefully gain some clarity. Parents, educators, and community members joined together at Rohi's Readery in the Square for a workshop to break down a list of new legislation in the school system. The problem is there's such an overarching voice about censorship and not saying anything that people just don't say anything. So the event instead, led by Dr. Bianca Nightingale Lee. This is Florida educational legislation at a glance. An the assistant professor in the Department of Curriculum and Instruction at FAU. This collective is about allowing people to have a voice to speak and say, I'm afraid of this particular thing. And as a collective, we come together using our knowledges and thinking about how do we strategize to still be vocal in ways that fulfill us. This was the first of a series that's being called Everyday Teaching for joy and justice as a partnership with the bookstore. At the preschool level, do you already see some hurdles with everything that's been going on? The only hurdle I may see is from a parent. You know, um, kids are the most open-minded, beautiful, accepting people always. Organizers say they'll be having meetings monthly, each time tackling a different issue with education. Um, I refuse to stay in a place of feeling upset, feeling frustrated, because I know there's so much work to be done um, and that there are really great people all around doing it as well. In West Palm Beach. We're going to get still and get focused and get clarity. Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.